Hey, it's Juan, Pedals and Effects. Justin Mello Johnson is here to show us his pedal that he did with Maleko, Diabolic. Shaka bra. Yes, yes, I mean, come on. Right now, undeniable color scheme here. Thank you, I appreciate that. I, I, Thanks for recognizing that. Yes, I'm kind of tripping on it. I'm now I'm like, oh, wait a second. You I don't know, even know, like it's uh, altering your depth perception. <laughs> like you don't know how far away from the pedal you are. I'm a little, thoughts. yeah, I'm afraid now. Cool. It's diabolic. All right, here we go. So I, I, I did watch um, uh, the video that you had made uh, yeah. for this pedal. Yeah. But why don't you go ahead and tell me? So I, I already asked you, I'm like, oh, well, I see this is a fuzz knob, and then this is a blend knob, and then you stop me. It right. is not a blend knob. It's, well, no, it's, it's a little different. It's kind of weird. Like normally you'd think if you want to blend uh, the clean and the dirty, like right. a lot of pedals got in the past 10 years, it seems to have exploded. Like so right. many pedals have that now, right? But so instead of that, where it's just like more clean, more dirty, this is just the fuzz signal and this is just the clean signal. And um, it, it, it's it, on at face value, you go, why is that there? The reason why that's there is so you can add gain. Right. So oh, right, for right. some reason, I didn't actually s to s specify that, but that's the way the the Ass Master right. that Maleko made that precedes this was designed with two separate knobs, one for the clean, one for the dirty. Right. Right. So um, we didn't want to mess with that, so we just kept that as the as the template for the for the design. But the thing that I've noticed that the school about that is that I can always leave my fuzz level where it is, and if I want just more gain. Right. You, you just bring this up past 12 o'clock, sort of unity-ish, right. and then it becomes like a clean boost portion of your sound. So it's a little more flexible. I, you could just say, well, why don't you just, it's sort of like the Spinal Tap question, like, why not make 11 <laughs> right, right, louder, right, right, or whatever. You know? <laughs> so you could just do the same thing with volume and blend, right. but, th but that's the way I like to think of it, and, yeah. and I'm used to it now, and it's become a thing. And plus, before we designed this thing, um, I used the the Ask Master for a long time, and I'm used right. to that those knobs and the layout and stuff like that. Right, right. Um, so anyway, clean clean sound and, and dirty sound. So right now, this is just basically a little boost. And oh, I got you. And you can hear, you know, it's sort of not necessarily right at 12 o'clock, but you can find where Unity is, and then you hear a little bit of a change there. Actually, yeah. I remember it was somewhere around 10:30. That still sounds like it's a little different. Right. Anyway, um, it's not intended to be a boost, but that's the way it's designed for the blending. And so then, and then we have here is the squish, and so that's not a, a name that you usually see on a on a pedal. So what is squish? Uh, yeah, I mean when you read it, it's a little a bit of a misnomer because you think yes. that means compression. Yes, maybe. of course. So I'm thinking squish, you know, squish. but but that's what they opted for, and I was like, okay, that represents kind of what it does because as you turn it up. It actually does flatten out the peaks of your sound and it just gets more saturated and sustainy. Right. So, but what's really going on here is it's like um, the character of the fuzz, right. like how bright it is, um, how much there is of it, and then the sustain. So it's like kind of three things in one. It it works kind of in conjunction with the fuzz control. And and for instance, if you have it here, it sounds different depending on where this knob is too. I forgot to mention that. It, right. It's kind of an interactive situation, but. Basically, it's just how much of this sound of the effect, and you could just say it's the fuzz, it's the type, it's it's how much gain or something like that. Okay. But it's also like how long the sustain is and how bright it is. Too. Right. And the char the character, like you said, like we're gonna hear, but like as you're playing it, you can hear, you know, as it's fading out, you hear all those tonal qualities happen. Like it's a it changes as it's going and fading out, and, yeah. and so. Well, why don't we just go ahead and play sure. it, and then let's hear what, and see what happens. Okay. So fuzz is kind of down here. Does that look like a good starting point? I guess. Yeah. yeah let's do it.
sounds awesome. That setting, I would rock that. <laughs> as soon as I heard it, I was like, oh, what is this? So I'm going to take a photo of that setting. But anyway, it, it really is. Like, as you just let that thing hang out, you just hear that weird filtering happen. It just starts to get that saturation tweaking out. And it's awesome. So again, though, when you're doing it, when you have it like, cranked up, let's hear it. Like, so I want to hear this, like, the, you know, how, how like, just hit a chord and then pull off. Go ahead and do it. You're right. It's just like, huh. and then that whole mid range right there just gets. It's just killers out of it. So again, like the one thing I was saying earlier is that it's nice to have a pedal that obviously inspires you, but also the look of it inspires me. <laughs> it's like it's awesome graphics. I don't. I do like it. Did you? Did you? Did you say, hey, I want something trippy, or did you have something that you gave them? And oh said, no, no, we. I was like, it's got to be, it's got to be bright primary colors. It's right. got to have sparkles in it. And it's got to have a trippy design and a really cool typeface. <laughs> um, I mean, for me, I like I like pedals that look cool. And like for me, I was like, this is what I want. This is what I want. Something with sort of a weird, I don't know, basically kind of a retro future sort right. of vibe, but a unique typeface and like cool colors. And yeah, I mean, this appeals to me. So awesome, man! And it's so funny because it's called Diabolic, so you immediately. Metal dudes would want it in black, and it's not. It's the Sorry. It's a, yes. <laughs> yes. But that's what I like about that. No. I, like, I like contradictions. Yes. You know, yes, funny. for sure. It's, yeah. not, it's not evil and darkness. It's <laughs> no, actually it's like, not. we're going to throw you in psychedelic land, and you're going to get lost in there and be scared. <laughs> <laughs> so cool, man. This is the Diabolic by cool. Maleko. You can get it anywhere. Hit the internet, and they'll tell you where you can find this. All right, thank you. Cool.